Here's the trade right here. One stock, right? We're gonna go over. One, two. Sometimes they'll do a third, but it bounces off the 200. When it breaks this trend line here, over the 20. These are all your indicators. Doesn't matter if it's a gap up or gap down. This was gapping up, but it's got to pull back. If it's a gap up, it's got to pull back. Just like if it's a gap down, it's got to pull up. Well, actually, look, here's its first one here. One, two, three. Breaks the ten trend line. You get in over the 20 with a stop, usually at, under the first low. Depending on your stop, if you can afford it, you, your stop's best under the low, but if not, under the half low. Well, there you go. Then, if that's not the second cup, if it doesn't trend, you look for the next cup, which usually trends better. This one's kind of sloppy, but uh, same thing. Tanks down, comes up the second part of the cup. Not the first part. It tanks down, comes halfway back up. Wait for the second part of the cup. Take that. Same stock. Let's go to previous day. Right here. Okay, this was a gap up, pulled down. Fires off. Does the first cup. Second cup. This is the, the other option they do. Either they'll do the two to three legs down and then bounce, or they'll do the double cup. The trick with the double cup is the second part of the cup has to either be even or preferably higher like this. These are one minute candles. It comes up first cup. If you, the shallow cups are the best. If it's a shallow first cup, you can take it over the high. If you really want to take a first cup, if you think it's going to blow out, you just take it over the 20, just like the second cup with the stop either under the bottom or halfway down, whatever you can afford. But it's best to wait for the second cup. Take it over the 20, which will usually be right over this ledge here, the bottom of the second cup. And then that's the one that usually trends. Nothing else to it. Look at even the volume. It had bigger red volume on None of that matters. It doesn't matter. When it takes off, it takes off. The only thing you got to watch about on these is I mean, it could do another lower high, like right in here, or off the 200 and tank again. But that's why you take it here midway with your stop under here. When it comes up to here, depending on how far that move is, in this case, it's only 10 cents. So I'm not taking profit. But sometimes it'll be as much as a dollar. You know, if it's 40, 50 cents or more, you should probably take half your profit here. And then you move your stop up here to break even or just under the 20 or, or just under the ledge. Sometimes they will spike back down or pull down back into here before they take off. But usually the second cup is good. All right, same stock previous day. Here we go again. This was a gap up, pulling down. One, two, three. Breaks the trend line, comes up. You get in over the 20. Look at this volume. Doesn't matter. Now, in this case, look, you see the green volume start picking up. What you're looking for is, for one thing, you got the three legs down, you got the trend line breaking, you got these higher lows, these micro higher lows. You see all these higher lows? That's what you're looking for. If you get two or three of those, you're good to go. It's going to blast. Take it over the 20 and you're gone. Went right through the top. You take it over the 20 with your stop under the bulk of the cup. See if I got one more day here. Previous day. Look, this is the same stock. The same thing over and over. Three legs down. What was this? Can't really. I think this was the gap up too. All right. So one, two, three. Anyway, it broke the trend line. You get in over the 20 or over the ledge of the cup with your stop under here or under the base and you're gone. Take some profit at the top if you want. What was this move? 16 cents. This is a kind of a small stop. We just take bigger share size. Take a thousand shares, 10,000 shares.